It is the 19th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Meteorologists confounded as snow disappears from Chicago skies. Whether you like it or not, we will officially break another record for no snow today. According to the National Weather Service, quote, it's pretty incredible, and N NWS meteorologist Gino Lizzie, it's the middle of January and there's no snow on the ground. Dallas, Texas has had more snow uh, than us. Izzy said, at the same time we have gone this, this far into the season without an inch calendar day of snowfall was in January 17th, 1899. Um, yeah, and again, the record just continues and breaks through. Uh, quite a strange winter indeed for Chicago. And here in Des Moines, it's it's 50 degrees out right now, and uh, the temperatures are supposed to plummet this evening. Portions of northern India blackened with largest snowfall in eight years. Oh, blanketed with largest snowfall in eight years. Sydney scorches on record high temperatures of 46.5 degrees Celsius. That's 115.7 degrees Fahrenheit for us Americans. Sydney endured its hottest ever day on Friday, with records smashed across the city and thousands of people suffering from the heat. The mercury topped 45.8 at Sydney's Observatory Hill at 2.55 p.m., breaking the previous record set in 1939 by a half a degree. And it uh, just looks like it continues and the fires continue. UFO blamed for millions of dead fish off Japan's coast. But where are the sources? Question mark. So they're blaming it on UFOs now. Plenty of fringe news outlets are reporting that an estimated 50 tons of dead fish have washed up on shorts of Okinawa, Japan this week. And while plenty of the outlets are guessing uh, that the cause of the mass death was due to everything from a lack of oxygen in the water to low temperatures. There's at least one source claiming that the event was caused by chemicals released from a UFO that crashed in December. <sighs> and nothing about the radiation, eh? Fukushima debris hits Hawaii. Debris set adrift by 2011 Japanese tsunami has made its way to Hawaii triggering concerns over unknown effects of the radiation it may carry from the meltdown of the Fukushima reactor. They have one down. There are three. Yeah, three. Uh, debris has been washed ashore on the islands of Oahu and Kauai, and the State Department of Health has been asked to test some of the incoming material for radiation levels. Yeah, right. Lack of oxygen sends waves of dead fish ashore and uh, Polynes Island, South Carolina, and again, I covered that yesterday. I'm going to take you over to um, UB Alert, Disaster Alert Network. Blackouts in Nepal reach 14 hours a day. Uh, reports said that the power outage in Nepal has increased to 14 hours a day, which translates to a total of 97, 97 hours a week of actual power in these people's houses, uh, way up in the... Uh, 5.4 earthquake in Samar, Philippines. Weather leaves 900 northern Ireland homes without electricity. Big storm running through there, reported on yesterday. Uh, floods continue to plague Rio de Janeiro. The heavy rains in Rio de Janeiro caused several streams to flood in the city, causing traffic disruptions. Um... Ten trapped in Australian wildfire. The tiny town of uh, Lacola, Victoria. Ten people were trapped in the wildfire as the heat ravaged Australia today. And again, it just goes on and on. Uh, my heart goes out to you down in Australia for sure. Uh, Twelve crash in Saskatoon amid icy conditions. Uh, more weather up north. And heavy snow brings power outages, school closures, and travel chaos to Britain. Of course, that's that big storm I was reporting on Wales yesterday. Um, uh, 
And then a bunch of flood reports, uh, Indonesia, Aust uh, Western Australia flood reports, Spain, Portugal, uh, floods in Scotland. And that's about all uh, they have going on today. Over to the nuclear stuff. E and E News. Uh, fish with cesium near government limit caught hundreds of miles from Fukushima. Uh, basically, the story goes that the government has raised its limits, of course, to 100 becquerels per kilogram. Uh, that's okay to eat on fish, Doc. Is that really okay to eat? 100 becquerels per kilogram? And um, they caught fish. Uh, hundreds of miles from Fukushima with 7.8 becquerels, and again there's these big blobs of radiation rolling through the Pacific Ocean. Official concern about new bubble sites near a giant sinkhole in Louisiana. Resident, more bubbling emerged in the past week. Uh, quote, I'm thinking it's closer to the surface than they think. And again this pressure comes up and then runs along the clay barrier and it breaks up through cracks and that and of course uh, Rainwater and stuff will expose the small methane leaks uh, that are taking place. I also read into the fact that they're trying, they can't really, um, like, just dump dump trucks and fill this hole up because it's, it's eroding from underneath. So they're not quite sure what level the gas is coming out that's making the erosion. And uh, things are um, completely under control, folks. Chilling testimony. Expert says public was was put in great danger because of errors at California Nuclear Power Plant. Uh, KPBS and RC hearing was a catch-22. Uh, this is where Arnie Gunderson is actually getting up and testifying. Um, when they put in those new steam generators, they put in extra tubes and uh, they didn't ask for it and it just backfired on them. Uh, San Onfre. A uh, AFP record high radiation found in Fukushima fish 2,500 times the cesium limit. And uh, again, on to what was covered yesterday. Whew. It's another day in paradise, folks. Enjoy while you can. Thanks, everybody.